All right, it's called the Paris Town Center. They got a big parking lot here. A Belk? I'll walk down and look at that. I've never heard of Belk before. I need a raw stress for less for a chance to find some discount shoes, 1660 and up. All right, so Belk. I hear an emergency siren. Belk is a ladies only store. So they've excluded half the sex. That's fine. Women, women make the money these days anyway. All right, there's this, uh, another shopping complex. There's, there's a few near the Walmart. This is the one right next to it. And there's this parking shopping area with a lot of little businesses, a lot of tiny businesses. And what gets my attention is this Crime Stoppers. All right, they actually have an office here. <clears throat> we support cash for tips. And they got a website. They support law enforcement. So, why do they need an office? I can't see anything in there. That's interesting. All right, it looks like the Eiffel Tower in Paris is supposed to represent a uh, war memorial because there's a lot of, looks like war memorial uh, stuff. There might be a sign to explain it. They made, I don't know, I wonder what, th there should be a sign that sh says when they made this. But it's next to a pretty large war memorial, heavily lit up. And there's nobody else here. All right, because I cut a lot of this fabric off of uh, the roof, you can see back here too, that came out in one nice big piece. I had to make a couple of snips. I've got more headroom. Look at this. Yeah. I can actually I can actually sit up more, turn my head without really running into anything, even wear my baseball hat without without my bill hitting. That's that's something the the roof issue was something that was causing problems with my my heart. Because I was looking down, so I was bending my spine down, compressing everything, and the nerves, especially, go that go to my heart and causing heartbeat issues. But I got a little more freedom now. I'd like to. It'd be nice to open it up a little bit more. I'm not too happy about this town and my situation. It looks like a nice town, just not good for my situation. All right, gonna see if Cooper has a Wi-Fi at their library that looks like it used to be a, a church, maybe? Delta County. You can't sit down because masks required. Oh, I guess. Maybe I could have hung out. Physicians? They got some crazy... Wow. Natural healing? All right, none of these books are actually useful to me. I've, lear I've learned about this stuff in the 90s when they were written. But I need things on digital format. And unfortunately, they blocked the Wi-Fi. I saw on the map that they got some weird parking set up here. You don't park against the town square. You're like, you gotta follow these lines just outside of it to create a lane next to it so people can circle near, near it. I think I wanna take my chances um, parking here overnight. There's really no signage. It seems pretty 
uh, quiet. I don't know. I mean, I didn't. Uh, there's a sheriff's office in town, and I didn't see a police station. Maybe there. It's only a county thing. Stopping for me or what's going on? Are you are you stopping for me or are you, doing? Are you stopping for me or what's Sorry? Uh, do you, uh, Espanol, uh, habla Espanol? No, I speak English. Okay. Uh, <laughs> are, you, are you stop? Are you stopping? Stop. S T O P for me. Is that? Yeah, man, we're gonna check on you. We had somebody call in if they were concerned about you. Yeah, there's a call. What did they say? Did I, I match the description? Somebody in the park. You're the only one in the park, so. Yeah. And then, oh, they don't even. They don't even need a description because somebody in the park. That's all you need, right? Interesting. All right. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just hanging out. I mean. Just hanging out. Where you from? Yeah. We're just traveling from the north. I mean. From the north. You got any yeah. on you? No. What? Boy, what's what's the crime? Ain't you, no crime. I don't want to even get into all that just, crap, man. I well, I mean, what's you serving a community purpose here? Yeah. What's that? I'm very quiet community, it. man. And I tell you what, you're doing a community uh, caretaking function right now. No. You're seeing if I'm okay. Isn't that I'm a part if of it? You're okay. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's, I know that's arguing in court. You got that community caretaking function where you see if I'm like on fire, right? Make sure I'm all right. Because I guess you're called on me. The car works. It, I mean, it's not broken down. So, yeah. so yeah. What's <laughs> I wonder who's who's the. Uh, wait, who are you guys anyway? The Upper County Sheriff's Department. My name is Sergeant Robson, Deputy McKayla. Okay, so What's it's, your name? it's the sheriff's uh, Travis. Yeah, I'm the owner Travis. of my car. Okay. Um, is there a police station in this town? Hey, the Sheriff's Department. No police. Station. No. Okay, so it's that small or? Yeah. Huh, interesting. I was wondering about that because, you know, I saw the sheriff's department and I was kind of looking for the police department. I, I walked around. <laughs> pass up through there a little while ago. What? Pass through there oh, it was you? A little while ago, yeah. yeah, I was checking it out, looking around, checking to see if the Wi Fi worked at the library, but they got a password. They got it blocked. Well, that's what you call blocked, but I mean, they usually libraries I've stopped at, I've stopped at a few. Well, you know, if you go in and ask for the password, they'll give it to you. Right, right. But I just, you know, I showed up at a bad time. Right. You know. You by yourself, man? Uh, yeah, there's nobody else in there. You can, you could plain view, see yeah, yeah, inside yeah. and all that. So I'm just minding my own business, trying to. There seems to be a concern about that. Is this, is, is it okay to be like here? I didn't see any signs about rules for like curfew or whatever. There is a curfew down at the park, but that's at 10 o'clock. There's a curfew down? In the park. In this park? Yes, sir. Okay, down in this park. It's my, you made it sound like it was somewhere else. What You know what this park is called? I forget the name of it. I don't see that the moment. Okay, that's fine. I, didn't, I usually look for signs. I walked around to see like what the rules are. I didn't see any, so I just, I just kind of you know, it was relaxed. A lot of places are like 10 p.m., you know, or some 6 a.m. to 10, 10 p.m. Right it's 10 here? Yeah. Okay. Man, you're good. All right, all right. Like say, we get a call, we're going to come check you out, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I have no complaints. They do. If you want to let them know, you know, I'm okay. I mean, whoever, if you identified the caller, at least, let them know that I'm okay. I mean, whatever. That's, that's too, yeah, it's too bad you guys don't have a police department. They, they send the sheriffs. Yeah. Around you got a broad, very uh, big area. 
yeah, you got you got a broad authority. Um, this would be something more for the police. You're doing <laughs> you're doing city work. Maybe the police say double duty. Uh, yeah, in a way, yeah. I mean, there, there's a cow. I saw a cow come up to the fence. I mean, there's it's not a lot going on around here. And yeah, maybe it looks weird. I was pacing back and forth, but I was, I was doing a little exercise too. You can do some ro rows on that bar. I mean, push-ups and stuff. Get the energy going. You said um, Travis? Yep. Where yep. are you from, man? Well, I'm just traveling. I mean, I have Washington plates, but that's like a home base. I'm just a traveler. Okay. So how long have you been here? Most of my life. Most of your life? Okay, yeah. I'm passing through. I mean... And I've been I've been all over. I'll admit. I mean, I've been on the Pacific Coast, down on the East Coast. And no, not no, no. Okay, only the western half. Okay. I've been all around the western half. How long have you been down here in Texas? Ah, well, I just I mean, I was here last year. I come. Okay, I travel with the season. Yeah. So winter time, it's a little chillier. I come on down, and I'm kind of like I started on the coast, and I'm just zigza zigzagging up and down with the weather. So, yeah. That's that's uh, my travel habits. I mean, kind of passing through slowly though. I'm not in a hurry. So I don't. I'm not. You don't have to be in a hurry. You're taking your time. Man. Yeah, uh, you understand. Man, I do. I appreciate that too. No problem at all. You know, a lot of a lot of people say you got to find a job. You got to be. Man, you gotta, you, hey, ain't this a miracle? Do what you want. Just take your time. If you make, I make just enough for gas. I mean, uh, on YouTube, you can see I'm recording. So um, this interaction will get me uh, some gas money, and I appreciate. Uh, I forget. No you. What's, what's your name again? Robinson. Robinson. Elmo. Elmo. Okay. I appreciate you helping me out, uh, sir, or uh, officer. Man, you know, uh, uh, hey, people have concerns about. I'm gonna say, strangers coming through town. And, I am. And this, yep. this, this is kind of weird for it, them. So we get calls like that. Yeah. You know? And I like. So the thing is, I'm trying to stay away from big cities because of COVID. Right. But and and I like the small towns, but these these situations happen. You're right. Um, I just want to say because because I mean close knit community man. Yeah. People look out for each other. Stuff. I mean things around here. Whatever. Yeah. I mean I mean this this is this is what happens and uh, it, it, it it's because this I'm assuming this isn't exactly a uh, tourist uh, uh, destination. So no, sir, that's not. that's yeah that's gonna come into play. Um, so yeah. I've had this before, and I, you know, it's on YouTube. I've, I it's just, just north. I'm, I'm gonna wait for. Okay, like in, say, in Clark's. Check, in, uh, check, make sure you're okay. Or whatever, like I say. Um, okay. Concern was, hey, there's a guy down here. Don't know where he's at. Yeah, he he might look disoriented when he's walking back and forth. But it's it's purposeful. I have an intent. I have a. Yeah, as long as you know what you're doing, and you ain't yeah. breaking, you know what I'm saying. You ain't breaking no freaking laws. That's all you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not casing anything. I could sign an affidavit promising that I did not and will not break into any buildings um, but I mean I see a lot of a lot of buildings around are kind of run down it's this you're kind of small town man. small small town and and I mean it's uh, I dilapidated uh, that might be too strong of a some, word some buildings around but, here, yes. there are some nice ones and then there are just there's just say cities in the process of cleaning up uh, yeah that's there's a lot to clean up here yes, it is. Um, you know, uh, and you've been here most of your life. It's not like this everywhere. I mean, there's there's some t cities. Hey, you... This is like this wherever you go. There, there's some bad. There's some good. Somewhat, somewhat. There's there's definite differences I've noticed. I mean, there's some towns you can't find a, a, a an abandoned house. Mm. I mean, they clean it up so fast, but here it's it's pretty obvious. Right. Um, but I mean, yeah, there's similarities too. So, yeah. Uh, Deputy Robinson, or is it Sergeant? Whatever you feel like. Okay, officer. Okay, so he's still checking up on me. Yeah, like I say, man, and, the deal with checking up on you, okay, yeah. you don't have to show me your ID. He ain't broke no laws well, or anything. Well, yeah. Listen to what I'm saying, though. But um, we're making contact with you. We're yep. going to make sure you're not wanted That's, anywhere. Oh, well. We're going to make sure that nobody's looking for you okay, anywhere. That, and then we're going to get out your hair. Yeah, that's the difference. you got community caretaking to make sure I'm not on fire. And then if you want to find out more about me, like my name, a background, and all that, then you're in, going into an investigation. And, I'm uh, going to ask you. I ain't got to get into nothing. I'm going to ask you that. You told me your name. Your name is Travis, yeah. right? Yeah, that's, you'll see that uh, on, I guess, the run-in for my plates. That's the first name that's going to pop up. So, 
then you get a clue on, you know, that'll be a lead towards, you know, further information. All I need to know but, is, if you're not I mean, wanted, guess what? You can stay well, down here till 10 o'clock. 10 well, o'clock now is a different story. You're going to have to leave I, here. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave. I I guess I'll go down south. There's there's a Walmart. Hey, um. I, you know, I guess thanks for, oh, he's taking a, he's, I guess, uh. You know, there's there's curfew here, so you you guys have had problems here for people parking too long, maybe. Uh, it's, after so, curfew, because it, um, I mean, it's the city park. It, it's it's pretty it's pretty rare. Just getting a nice picture. It's pretty rare that uh, parks allow you to park 24 hours. So I guess you know, you're getting here uh, before 10. I might have stayed after 10. So that's you got here before I broke the law. You're you're taking a. Let's hear make a save. It, Somebody had concern about you. Yeah. You're all right. I see you. Co you, you you're coherent. Coherent, yes. Yeah, you're doing your thing. Yeah. yeah. Like I say, just making sure. Hey, we made contact with you. We don't want to walk off. You wanted by the FBI. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, you can't catch them all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but I mean, you could try. But I mean, there's that inconvenient. There's that inconvenient factor on my part. All right. I feel you. You're you're most, most people feel that way. Yeah. It, well, feel that way. It's, it's also argued in court as well. There's, there's that. Most people feel that way. That's why it's argued in court. Most right? people, yes, exactly, yes. That community caretaking is argued a lot in court. When is that Fourth Amendment violation? When did that start? When did seizure start? Like, I could walk away, right? Wait, am I, am I free to go? You ain't got to say nothing. I ain't detained you. Okay, yeah, see, there's, it, it, there's really... It, I'm talking I, to you. you. Yeah, hey, yeah. You can tell me, you can flip I, me the bird and say, hey, I ain't got to say nothing. Okay, to okay. Yeah, uh, there's there's a point where uh, you know people feel like they're they're feeling like they're being seized, no, okay. No. And I don't I don't really I honest honestly I don't feel like I like that's a problem. I I actually prefer to record, uh, you know, as long as you want to conversate. Thing, man. But, hey, we can talk all night. <laughs> well, I'm not I'm not trying to push that that length of time. I only got so much memory on my. Well, I know what you mean. Man. I know what you mean. <clears throat> like I say, you you making sure you cover but, your CYA. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm headed south. There's a Walmart south of here. Uh, Sulphur Springs. Sulphur Springs, yeah, yeah. There's a Walmart. Uh, I'm interested in going there to see what it's like. I guess they. So. They got a nice square over there. A nice. You ever seen it? A nice what? A town square. Town square. This town square has got a weird parking situation yeah, around it's, it. It's, it's a little out of way. Usually, right usually now. you park right up against the park. Well, but this one. I'd say it's, it's a little out of way. They got a little. It's not, it's yeah. not curved in. You might have some problems. You might there might be some issues. Well, most people it, know, 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 how, know how it is. No, okay, you know. it's it's pretty settled. Yep. Okay, yeah, and then they got you. You got an interesting one. And you're seeing that from your perspective that they have an interesting one. Right. Maybe yeah. Maybe I'll take some time to check that out. Give me something to check out if you just sightseeing, man. Yeah, it's, I, it's that's real nice. I like to study the history, like. You know, you don't have to go to you don't have to read books. You go to the internet. You just walk around cities. They got signs up. You just read about the the history. And so, what's the verdict? New, new jury up. Okay. What's what's uh? Okay. Well, all right. You're not you're not coming any closer. He <laughs> said, oh, "Covid, man. Covid. Covid. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, yeah, that so that's." You know, we masked up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Co here, Covid. We, we didn't come in here to accuse you of doing anything wrong. Yeah. It's after dark. You're at the city park. Yeah. And if the county calls on us, they expect a service out of us, correct? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're doing a service call. Park after dark, they're going to call us back. Uh, the, okay, the complainant is going to, and he's a credit, it's a he, she, they're a credible person. The mayor, maybe. <laughs> it could be the mayor. But, you call them if you expect service, right? Well, I mean, I, uh, depends. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a no brainer, right? Uh, all right, um, your, your sound, the, the, the cloth is kind of uh, muffling okay. some of your words. You, you said you had your last question I couldn't understand, so. I, I think, you know, you're, you're saying, you, you guys gonna check up? You, you don't you don't want to ignore the call because that's you know. No, we're not gonna ignore. You're gonna you're call. you're gonna lose your you don't want to lose your job, you know. I'm not worried about that. What you're I'm trying to explain to you is if we leave out of here and you're here at the park after dark, that creates a problem for us. Oh. We need to address. Okay. All well, right. I'm not gonna force an ID but, out of you, but if you'd like uh, to leave the park, it is after dark. Well, it's ten. Okay? It's a ten o'clock curfew. curfew. I mean, but, settle down. I'd say I'd ask you to settle down a little bit on this issue. I mean. Because uh, from what I understand, yeah, it's it's ten now. It's, I mean, some parks are sunset, but yeah, I mean, some parks are sunset. Uh, sunset. But if it's written down and if it's confirmed, yeah, I, I, you know, you know, all right. 
Check it out, man. So, Check it out to her. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be in a rush. I mean, I but uh, rushing, man. You, you guys now have identified me. If, if there's anything that happens, you, you have a, a, a person of interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to. I haven't identified you yet. So, all right. Robinson, I forget your name. Makeda. M Makeda? Yep, you can call me Mike. Mike Makeda? Yep. Okay, all right. How long have you worked here? Can you say? Or? No, not long enough. Not long enough? Okay, that's a nice broad answer. Okay, all right. But I've been in the game 15 years, so <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, um, I'm a little stressed, so I just uh, I'm going to walk around after this interaction. I'm going to walk around, just, you know, work out the stress, and then, you know, I'll be out before 10. So, I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, that's my plans. I mean, I pretty much told you all my plans for the next... Uh, well, day, the day. Bit, huh, right? yeah. I didn't. I don't know any of your plans, but that's fine. That's make it home safe. Okay. That's my plan. All right. So, so Makeda and Robinson. Yeah. Uh, do your thing, man. I mean, you're, you're kind of right. You got till ten. So if we get okay. a call, we'll be back. Uh, uh, yeah. Right. It's. I mean, it, I don't know. Kind of right. I mean, if it's, it's if it's written, it's it's right. It's. But I mean, that's you good. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right. Travis, you have a good evening. All right. Yes. Thank you. Yes, sir. You, you too. And I'll, yeah, I'll be out before 10. Mm-mm. <clears throat> so confused at 106 a.m. My, my heart is going nuts. It really, I mean, it can't be from the cops entirely. There's something else going on here because it's still nuts. I think it might be, I gotta look at, I, I gotta look at what I recently consumed because that's generally a good indicator why I'm having issues that what did I consume that's different from usual and I made a tea kind of of the wild grass and I need to look at the pot closer uh, but one thing I added that I don't normally consume is uh, these Mexican chilies that I bought at the Walmart um, I mean I can't I can't recall exactly any uh, the exact problems I've had from the chilies, uh, from, from, uh, boiling them, I, I know I've eaten them kind of raw and had issues, uh, but I thought I had it, I thought, I thought I had, like, 
well, I thought I was in good shape with uh, just having them, having them boiled and just drinking the liquid. But maybe I have had problems with that. Because, I mean, my heart is going nuts right now. But this is something I just have to, like... I wish I could look back on, because I've had them on different occasions just experimenting, and I know I've had s certain issues with uh, the Mexican chilies, but I, I think I, I, th I think this is different, boiling them and just drinking the water, uh, but my heart is going nuts, and I think I have to blame the chilies again, because I have had issues, and they are different so frustrating to deal with this i hate this feeling and i always want to prevent it and it's it's uh a more it's it comes down to elimination of the wrong stuff that's doing this all right tearing apart my car leaves a lot of dust and i certainly have breathed in some of that <laughs> It's like I can feel it. This is the like the exact day that the the car was made for the 2004 season. Um, I got to be careful of these wires. I intend to hold them up with magnets instead of uh, the glue that was holding them. All right. So when I show my tongue, it shakes. I've never really experienced such a shaky tongue before. It's slight, but I mean, it's there and that's a nerve issue. Um, I think the tip is pretty red, which is a heart issue, but I've never really read about uh, tongue diagnosis where the tongue just shakes, you know, like uh, a healthy tongue wouldn't I don't, wouldn't shake. At least my tongue has never really shook in the past that I've noticed. It's kind of a, it's kind of be a health indication as well. Uh, I'm not sure how far away from Austin I am, but they're uh, referring to Austin. It's like an old project. Now I'm starting to wonder if maybe I got an infection. Uh, I mean, I, I think I might be recovering, but maybe I got an infection from not not reheating the the chicken meal after two days. I should have reheated that. I was thinking I should have, but I was just I was really lazy. Right. I just realized as I finished my broccoli. Steaming it kind of makes me want to eat it first Because uh, before I've been eating it last and it's it's a chore. Oh, no. Yeah eating it last uh, Cooking it in the teapot if I put it in the steam for chicken at least I uh, usually I want to eat the chicken first But if I have the broccoli on top steaming it uh, It cools down before the chicken and I don't know. It's just easy grab. I ate it all didn't even touch the chicken yet. So I ran out of grass and out of all my teapots. I was getting a little worried, but all I needed to do was shop behind the Walmart, and there's there's quite a bit here. So I'm gonna grab. I'll just grab this Indian grass. Well, there's also the blue stem over there. Indian grass tends to slow down my digestion. This is why. This is partly why I always keep gloves on me. Look at this. No problem. I'm grabbing a few of these leaves. I never really tried this style of the spiky, but I think it's pretty safe because this is probably the primary defense are those spikes. You know, people say you need to uh, harvest uh, herbs a hundred feet from paved roads or whatever, but being on higher elevation is also a factor that reduces the need for a hundred feet. A lot more in my eyes because water can't run off water can't run off to the any of the grass along this edge all right I got a pot full of wild grass in here and I want to add coffee so I need to like make a hole and in a way this grass should filter 
so that I won't have a lot of remnants coming out. But I do have the French press as backup. I don't want French press to be the primary filter. I think I think uh, grass can suit that job. I got green grass at the bottom and then brown on the top. All right, most of the way to the downtown from Walmart has no sidewalks. They're quite dangerous for bicycling. So I feel pretty satisfied about keeping my car in Walmart and bicycling into town. I'm a little hesitant about the library. I at least have a mask, but uh, I don't. Uh, I hmm, just want to check it out a little bit at least. I really just, I'm so guarded about libraries these days. Alright, so I'm downtown in the town square. They got music playing. On Google Maps it said there was some kind of a glass bathroom. That's rare. So it's right up here on the corner. Two of them? I wonder if they're free. Or if they're locked. Looks like the door is on the inside. Oh yeah, they're wide open. And you can see on the outside, glass bathroom. So, what is one, one male and one female? No, they don't even bother putting, putting a designated sex. So you wouldn't know if you're just walking around what those buildings are. <laughs> this is an old courthouse. All right. So I totally f forgot that it's closed for Martin Luther King Day. Oh well, just gotta keep moving. The Wi-Fi works outside of the building without a password, so that's pretty nice. <clears throat> All right, nearby the library, they have a, oh my God. It looks like, oh, there's tracks. It looks like it's parked on grass, this huge, oh my goodness. Pigeons are still holding out for it to reopen. It looks like it's done for. There's still people driving around through here. This uh, old something. On either side of this railroad track, they got run down operations for feed, but. They didn't, they didn't bother to tear the old one down, they just kind of built a, oh, built one right next to it. I'm approaching a road, I was questioning that. So you can hear there, unless that's a cement, I think that's a cement factory. <clears throat> So practically in the neighborhood, they got a horse. I don't think these horses are taking. I don't think I don't like the the land that they're on here. There's no grass left. They gotta they gotta remove one horse. That would be my ruling. What have we here? A microchipped cat. <clears throat> on 213 Bell. Belly. So I think this uh, this city has a regulation against fencing being right next to the road. So that's the problem I have with Yakima, Washington, is they they don't seem to have any regulation about fencing. They allow people to put the fence 
but in all different appearances, like scrapyard fencing, right up against the road. And it looks pretty bad, but that's how cities run. Some cities like, uh, like it, approve of it. Not this city. Alright, so I thought I reached the end of a cul-de-sac and need to turn around and go back the way I came. This one actually appears to have a, a link for foot traffic at least to, to reach. Oh! Or not. Wow. Well, it's not that friendly. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you only got to put up with that. All right, after spending a little time here at Sulphur Springs, I'll just say I found a, a small patch for chives just over there. And I'll also mention that there's one grackle in the Walmart parking lot. That's it. It's, it's pretty hard for grackles to make it around here. This, this is too far east for them. Big, big thing of chives over there. All right, and I'm thinking, I'm gonna just grab this grass. This is some very luxurious grass. I don't know why it's so thick and everything, but I brought a teapot with me. I think I'm gonna fill it up. It won't take but a minute. Out in the middle of nowhere, practically. I set my teapot in a very active ant colony. Just had to shake them off. They're doing pretty good here in this luxurious patch of grass. I still don't understand how that happens. Looks like it says zero. All right, I've been peeling away at this, uh, this, this uh, gray, this gray stuff. I don't know what it is. Some tin foil with uh, a tar that smells like, like pine. It's got a weight to it, so I guess I'm uh, taking care of. Wait, but I don't know the purpose of it at all, so if I don't understand, it's got to go. All right, getting close to needing a new oil change, according to the reading. Right, because uh, there's uh, spiny weed in here, I, I don't want to touch. It's it's pretty it's pretty um, aggressive. I use two forks, just kind of spread uh, t with two forks to get to the center, and I put catnip and peppermint in there at the center. All right, so I'm very interested in boiling this grass, whatever it is, because it's got a green stem at least. Uh, but this I'm going to use right now for cleaning the pot. So I, I'm pretty sure I can trust it. Use it for a cleaning tool and, and then boil it. Well, not boil this, but this style of grass. All right, what has become my primary exercise tools while traveling? And it's pretty much everything that's out here. You got the dip bars. I love doing rows with this. It strengthened up uh, my my arms and back to do this with more straight arms, which this is pretty much the suspension trainer. And I could hook it up to this tree here. I don't get a lot of opportunities to use this. Gloves are essential for all the floor exercises, crab walks and push-ups. Knee pads are kind of a recent addition. I had to start working my lower, my middle back, and I got to get on my knees and bend over with the 45 for that. Sometimes I'll put the chain over my neck, but the chain, which I keep extra bit here, can, has a multi-purpose for like towing the car if necessary, and and then uh, lifting one end for for shoulders, which is pretty nice. The squat strap, oh, that's, I was trying to remember what else 
what else I got all right and then also the picnic picnic fitness table strap which I always keep in my bag so just toss that out there those two straps are well the picnic fitness table strap I need picnic tables for so can't always have that opportunity it's like I'm I'm reliant on when I find picnic tables for that I'm reliant when I find an anchor point for this something to wrap wrap it around the poles are also a new addition about what five feet poles I I've been using them a lot for for stretching various stretching I think I want to make a video of that uh, and also uh, I do a lot of step ups on this thing this thing has been a great this foldable um, step up 13 inches says just put it right there and I've been I, I bought the a three dollar mat at Walmart to protect the bottoms because they're getting beat up from all the stepping I've been doing I like to get out to a remote area pull it out and just start doing stepping right here right next to my car and then I'll hold the poles on either side and I actually I get a quite a tricep workout doing the step ups with this <clears throat> but these uh these poles are great for for just stretching and in, in general holding holding my balance while doing different stretches um so this is this is my my workout gear essentials right here on on the go i try to keep it as lightweight as possible but the chains and the 45 pound plate add add weights that's kind of hard to um just avoid because it's, it's so helpful I, I had two 25 pounders two 25 pound um like like uh this this style of the 45 plate 245 pound 225 pound plates that i threw away and just reason that i use chains in place of of them and i'd use a 45 regardless if i wanted a 25 or not just to save on weight all right so i'm drinking that soft grass mixing it with milk so i put it I poured it into the the French press just just for a little filtration. It tastes better with milk for sure, and you notice a taste difference with the milk. It's not great by itself, but it's okay. And then uh, I'm I'm uh, eating peanuts and bread. And then drinking this stuff a little bit left let's see if it uh, messes with me it seems okay it's like spinach um, I already drank one whole pot but that was that was different grasses the Indian grass blue stem and a, and then the wild green grass oh yeah this is the actual that, that really soft patch of grass with the ants I think it should be safe. I don't think I should worry. I want to confess here that I had a bubbly burp a few, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It, it bubbled um, up and I felt it affect my heart. So it was like those, you know, it was doing this to my esophagus and I was, I was pushing against my heart and I felt that. You really need to have a low blood pressure and and a good circulatory system to deal with with just with just burping let alone bad backs and pff, everything else all right a, a normal right rosemary is down there looking very healthy at this library i have never seen a rosemary like this though with these small little leaves in between the big ones it really gives the impression of being like marijuana i wonder what the taste is like Hmm. Pretty typical. Pretty typical rosemary. All right, while well, sitting up here, I see this. Hmm. 